a quick hello. Was that the Limerick Field Archery Club competition last Sunday? We're starting to rack up these competitions. They come taking fast. That's it's great. It's just can't get to all of them. A lot of family political stuff, you know. I go this week, I'll say this week. I go this week, that um, that um. But um, it was great. Really, really enjoyed it. Met some cool people there again. Fucking anyone into archery is, seems to be pretty cool. The, the woods were brilliant. They really were. I mean, they were really pretty. I took a few photos. I put them on the Galaxy Archery. YouTube page, you should check them out. Just like a little slideshow I put together there. It's uh, I had to try and look. The trees, it's just fucking, it's beautiful. It's forest, wood, whatever. You know, trees and stuff. There was a tar the first target again, it was like, I don't know what distance it was. I, I'm not gonna lie to you, I had no clue. I just figured, fuck it. Aim above them. It was far, it was long. And it was down this, narrow narrow ish kind of tree line on both sides i'd say a few trees got shot on the day did i shoot a tree no no i didn't i just clipped off a few targets bounced off into the brush but the first one i missed it, like three hours i missed it it's like here we fucking go again and then uh when we We'll do like a bunch of targets, then we'll break for lunch, then we'll go back out and do them again. So, first target after lunch is this guy that was the first in the morning. I got him in the second, second asking. I think I got him with my first arrow, or maybe my second, because it's that far you weren't sure if you did. I said, I'll just go again, just to be sure. But I got it, I was looking at my little uh, score sheet there. Starting to keep a little collection. It's nice to, uh, to have, you know, and just write a little note in alongside it. What stood out on the day, like for me now that day, my focus was just nowhere to be seen. It's just fucking gone. So I, yeah, I got it. I missed the first two, but I got them then the second round. I did pretty good in the second round. No, actually, I didn't. I had a shit second round, sorry. I missed like a whole bunch in a row and you'd be thinking well this is just great and I wasn't stressed for anything about it I was just like just the brain just wasn't there like, I couldn't get my distances right and I was like then there was ones that I was getting easy enough I thought the, in the morning I was just not fucking it was impossible to get them in the evening which is weird because the morning was darker it was, it was a really overcast, drizzly day. In the woods, it was dark. The leads on the compounds, their targets were invisible at times. It was so dark. So that was annoying. You know what I mean? You'd be thinking, what the fuck's going on here? I should be getting these shots. And you're like, ah, oh, right, this is the way to do it. I am nothing. Followed by nothing and nothing. So... One must focus, one must. They did a great job in setting it out. It was a nice, it was tough. Like it was just some good challenging shots there for me anyway, from my perspective as a beginner. But they're all challenging. <laughs> but it was, you go back to the range now in the week and it's kind of, you just kind of wishing you were in the woods. It's a different different animal in the woods, like like you're thinking differently, you know. The range has its place, you know, practicing form and all that. But it's my fucking distances I gotta be practicing. My line is good, I'm happy with my line. My form needs a bit more work. A lot more work. But um it's great fun, it's a good day out, it's a good way to spend your day. And you're getting better even when you have a shit day. You write down why you thought it was shit in the heat of the moment. Then you look into it then later on, maybe a week later, and you're thinking, oh yeah, maybe it wasn't so bad. You know what I mean? I was happy enough with my score. 
Well, I'm, I say happy. It could have been worse. That's why I'm happy. It could have been a lot worse. Um, what else can I say about the Woods are excellent. James sounds good. Funny guy. Um, they had a cool little setup then as well where you have like your, you can have your lunch. It was very nice. Everyone, well, Grumpy Dave won. He won the gold on the day in his compound. He got a very good score actually. Um, Sean won his. Who else got a medal? I think that's it. In our in Galpy like. But yeah, I was fucking dehydrated there at one stage. Not making excuses, but it's again lack of fucking um top iron. You know, trying to enjoy yourself and do it. It was hot but it was drizzle. You wouldn't even know how to fucking dress because you could be wearing a hoodie like I was wearing a hoodie, but at times my fucking sleeve was catching the string. So it was all bulged up because I had to roll it up for the just you know to figure out silly little things like that. I thought you check your gear the night before, make sure everything is there, everything is undamaged, clean, ready for action. And that's all you need. Nope. Oh, I'm on the clock now, so I can't relax into this. <laughs>